All right, number two. So there's this is actually two equations. When we have absolute value, it's a way of packaging in as a piecewise equation. It's actually two things I have to do. The first thing is there's a mess inside these bars. I remove the bars and take the positive of that mess. And I just solve that equation, um, that inequality, the way I would normally. In case you forgot, here's what we do. Just like this was an equal sign here, we subtract the 21 from both sides. And then here's the, here's the difference. I have to divide both sides by negative 7 to get rid of this coefficient. But when I do, because it's negative, the inequality is going to turn around. And so the inequality went from this direction to this direction, and I have to divide both. Uh, I should have combined the 63 and 21. I don't know why I didn't. But I, um, whenever I divide, I divide every term through. Um, it did make the arithmetic easy. Um, I get negative 6. So x is less than negative 6 from step 1. Hold that thought. It's up here in teal. x is less than negative 6. Step 2 is to take that same thing inside the bars, slap a minus sign on the outside of the bars, and then solve the same equation again. The minus sign does not get tacked onto the 63, only the junk inside the bars. So if I distribute the negative, negative times a negative is a positive, negative times ne uh, the positive 21 is a negative. So I'm really careful when it comes to minus signs, uh, and I still make mistakes. Um, it's just not, I don't know, it's hard to track them, but be very careful. Then do the same thing. Add the 21 to both sides to get rid of the 21. That becomes 84. And then divide both sides by 7. So I get x is bigger than 12 from doing the negative version of the absolute value. You might have seen your high school teacher do a absolute value and then stick, do inequalities on both sides. You can't do it in this case. Uh, it's, so don't do any tricks, follow what I'm doing, and you should get the right answer. So what do I um, look at what this as? Well, I use number lines because it's easier to pick this out. X is less than negative 6 on the number line is everything to the left of negative 6, but not including negative 6. X is bigger than 12 is this right region after 12, and I put a hole there for 12 because 12 is not included. They want you to use interval notation. You have this calc pad that you're supposed to use. Um, if I write this in symbolic notation, um, this gold line stretches from minus infinity to 6, and it's an open bracket on both sides, a union symbol, and then the gold line starts again at 12 and goes all the way to infinity. So that's what goes into the box, and you have to use that pad. Don't put any use or anything. It won't take it. 